Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I like is the whole never giving up. Our kids are getting in the matches more, getting more excited, getting more energized, intensities higher than it was last year. So just being able to compete higher at a higher level in the games is really exciting for me so far this season. Yeah, so the biggest thing we did during the offseason, I kind of took a deep look at the team and we came up with our team non-negotiables, our team DNA type of deal. And if you've been on our social medias, we've been looking at the hashtag climb. So each of those five letters stands for something. The C stands for compete, L stands for love, I stands for intentional, M stands for more, and B stands for balance. So when we're looking at our team as a whole, those are the five words that we're really trying to encompass in everything that we do. I think when you're looking at coaching philosophy, you always want to be better than the year before. You always want each day to be better than the day before. And that comes down to the coaching ability that I have encompassing a environment where kids can grow, kids can learn, kids can ultimately fail at the same time because that's how you learn. If you're perfect every single day, you're not going to do much growing. So I want to create an environment where kids are allowed to fail and grow from it and learn from it as we keep moving forward with this program. I think this year it's been very good. Yesterday, even after our tough loss to McMurray, we were, everybody was in the post-game huddle saying, oh guys, we're, we go again on Thursday, let's look forward to Thursday against ETBU. Let's not look back at this game. We're doing fine. We're right where we need to be. So it's encouraging to see the spirits are still high as the team continues to move forward, especially after a tough loss like we experienced yesterday in that. Yeah, I think when you look at our team, we're much deeper than last year. I think bringing in my first recruiting class, I was able to bring in quite a few kids who are ultimately college ready right from the start. You can see Alex Bremen, freshman midfielder, who's already putting in some absolute shifts for us in the midfield for us, contributing. Mary Ranigers, again, being top goal scorer on the team so far and getting in on those corner kicks. And then Alexa Dubrow has also been stepping up this year compared to last year. So it's exciting to see the growth of kids continuing the build as we go into the second season here at Millsaps. Yeah, I think our overall goal is ultimately to be better than last year. Last year we had a couple good games. We had we struggled in the conference, so we're looking to build in that conference realm this year, especially we're looking for that magic number typically for that five and six spot is about three wins in the conference. So that's our goal this year. But then we also have goals four and a number of goals four we're looking to hit shots per target and ultimately just continue to grow as we move forward with the program rebuild that we're in right now. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for fans this year is gonna be the fact that we're scoring goals. We already have four goals in two games, so we're gonna be a team to entertain the fans. We're gonna be a team that's gonna be in games a little more this year compared to the past years and put goals away. We're already scoring more goals than what we did last year at this time, so it's gonna be entertaining. I think they can expect some goals from us this year. Um, so my freshman and sophomore year, I had a captain, Hannah Johnson, and she was like, like she's been my role model for my entire time at Millsap so far. And so my goal is to really just fall in her footsteps. She set a really good example for everyone. And that's exactly what I want to do. Just be a strong leader on and off the field. It's like a night and day difference. Like my freshman year, it was very like, we were sort of being strung together, like people weren't meshing very well on the field um, and even off the field. And this year, like with our incoming class and we got a transfer, it's just been like, like I feel like we're finally playing soccer and we're not just like kicking a ball around on the field. It's very much more organized and I'm very excited for this season. Uh, I think our effort is like, like just better than it has been in years past. Everyone's like finally determined to actually like make improvements on the field. Um, our freshmen, specifically Alex, one of our freshmen, she is like a standout on the field. She plays almost 90 minutes every game so far. She is so confident on the ball and it really shows to the rest of us and to the rest of the freshmen that like no matter what age you are, you can make a difference on the field. She scored in one of our first games like it was it was a big deal, Loudon, not a lot of freshmen do that. We just try to remind ourselves that it's, although it's important, it is just a game and it's not gonna define the rest of our lives, not gonna define the rest of our season. We just have to, keep, like, we keep reminding each other to keep our heads up after the game. If we win, win with grace. If we lose, lose with grace, that kind of thing. 
um, and really just keep the morale high because we know if we like start to get down a little bit, it's going to carry on into the rest of the season and we really don't want to make that mistake again.